Mr. Bones, Dinosaur Hunter by Jane Kurtz, illustrated by Mary Haverfield. What can animal bones tell us? Smooth Bottom Brown was a charming, damper guy. He went climbing over rocks in a top coat and a tie. He loved ballroom dancing, but he was not dancing now. He was digging in the dirt. What was he looking for? It was not shining silver. His wife once called it rainbows, but it was not in the sky. Others wore bandanas and cowboy boots and chaps. Mr. Brown came to Montana in a fancy coat and a hat. He poked and he shifted and he picked in dirt. Was he hunting gold? No, nothing quite that old. But what he hunted, people wanted just about as much as gold. Bones, big old bones. People said bottom brown can somehow smell bones. His nickname became Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones found bones in the middle of Montana, a backbone and a hip bone and other bones and chips. Bones were packed in boxes, shipped off to New York. Putting them together took lots and lots of work. Step back. Imagine that. Now what about a name? A name? Yes, a name for this amazing thing. That job went to the museum president. Henry Osborne called it Tyrant Lizard King. It was as tall as three men, but had short, short arms. It had a wide, wild mouth and six inch teeth. Huge Tyrannosaurus, gigantic T-Rex. Mr. Bones had found the Tyrant Lizard King. The end.